Okay, welcome back. And so now we're going to do another example, and this deals with mortgages and house value. So let's jump right in and see where we're at. So it says, a house purchased for $400,000 during the housing boom decreased that, uh, decrease in value by 30% during the recent housing slump. By what percent must it now increase in value in order to be worth its original purchase price? Round your answer to, the, uh, to one decimal digit. Okay, now, students mess up because it's easy to think that, well, um, if it decreased by 30%, well then, in order to go back up to the original price, it would just have to increase by 30%. But that's not true. That's, that's not true, okay? Because your increase is, no longer, is based on the original amount uh, or the current amount, okay? So it's not gonna be the same, okay? So you gotta be careful so you understand what's going on. So let's walk through this so you can see. So the original price, right? So the original, per the purchase price was $400,000, okay? Then it decreased by 30%. So there was a 30% decrease. Okay, so now what's the new value? Okay, so let's let's find out what the the current value is since the slump, right? So, what do we have? Well, we need to or, so we need to find what the um, new value is. So I'm going to use the other proportion. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, new value, right, divided by purchase price. See, I'm just setting up the proportion. Okay, or you could just say purchase value, just to keep the terminology saying, even though it's price, um, purchase value, right? Now, the new value, is, since this is a decrease, it's going to be 100 minus 30 over 100, right? Because it's 100 minus R over 100, right? So now, what we're trying to find is the new value. The purchase value, oops. The purchase value is 400,000. Okay, R is 30. So now I want to find the new value. Well, what's the new value now? Well, the new value is equal to what? Now I'm gonna take this, this is 70, so it's gonna be 70 over 100 times 400,000, okay? Well, a hundred, uh, four hundred thousand divided by a hundred thousand becomes four thousand. Okay, and seventy times four thousand becomes um, what? In this case, two hundred eighty thousand. Wow, that's a huge slump. So, a four hundred thousand dollar house with a thirty percent increase. Um, becomes two hundred eighty thousand dollars in value. Okay, now, now the question here is the question. Now the question is: is now uh, what percent increase would need to happen in order to go back to the original amount? It's not going to be thirty percent because the thirty percent decrease was based on this amount. If I want to increase a percent, if I want to find a percent increase to get back to 400,000, well, the percent increase is now not based on this value, 
it's now based on this value. So now I'm going to have to have a much higher percent increase in order to get back up to 400,000. So let's see what that is. So now I'm going to set up the next proportion, right? So now my new value, right, the, the new original amount is now 280,000, right? I want to go back up to 400,000, right? So now what I need to do is, is I need to know what this increase amount is going to be. So it's going to be what? It's going to be 400,000, right? That's my final value I want, minus the current value, which is 280,000. And now that, oh, actually, no, 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 no. Hold on, let me, let me set it up this way. So there's a couple ways you can set this up. So let's do this. This is the current value. Let's do the new value. And the new value is going to be 400,000, right? Now, instead of a percent decrease, I want a percent increase. So over here, it's going to be, have to be 100% plus whatever the percent increase is, over 100. That's my proportion that I want to use. So now, all I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to solve for R. Now, this is a little bit more complicated, not, but not much, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 100. Okay. And now I've got R plus 100 equals what? Well, over here, I'm going to simplify this over here. So... These four zeros cancel with these four zeros, right? And so if I multiply, what do I get? I get, <clears throat> let's see, I get 4 over 28, which reduces to 1 over 7. So then I get 100 over 7. So this is going to be 100 over 7. And then I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. Okay. And so I get R equals, well, let me do this. Okay, now this is divisible by 7. So again, remember, if you know the pattern, then it becomes relatively easy. So 7 goes in uh, to 100. Um, 14 times with a remainder of 2. So it's going to be 14.28 um, five seven. I'm just going to stop there. Minus 100. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is that right? Hold on a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 no. Something, I did something wrong. Why is this not... This is not 4, it's 40. Okay, yeah, I, never mind. So, it's not 40. So, I, when I crossed these off, I, I wasn't looking at the, I was looking at the 4, and I forgot there's the 40 there. So, it's 40 over 28. Okay, that may, yeah, because I was getting a negative number here. You can't get a negative, if it's a percent increase, you shouldn't get a negative percentage. Um, in fact, well, for these problems, you shouldn't get a negative percentage at all. So, so that's where I, I knew something was right. So let's let's go back here. Okay, so let's go back to this part here. So this is 40. So let me rewrite this like this. So R plus 100 
equals, <clears throat> so this is going to be 40 over 28 times 100, okay? And then I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. Okay, so let's start with that. That's better. So now, what is R going to equal? Okay, this is going to be um, so this is going to be 10 over 7. Okay, that's going to be much better. Yeah, that's going to be better. So this is going to be Yeah, 10 over 7, so 10 times, so it's going to be 1,000 over 7, minus 100. Oh, okay, much better. Okay, that's, that's much better. So 7 goes into 1,000, it's going to be what? Oh, I want to make sure I'm, I'm not going too low here. Okay, so 7 goes into, that's going to be, um, let's see, 1, 4, one, four 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be 1, 4, Two and uh, oh yeah yeah so it's going to be one four two point eight um, five seven minus a hundred yeah so what do we get R equals um, 42 point or approximately 42 point eight and they want to go out to uh, is it the nearest decimal I thought no round to the nearest percentage so okay so we're going to round it to here so this is going to be approximately 43 percent so in order to get back to your original home value you would have to have a percent increase of 43 percent so that's it. Have a great day.